Hi guys, welcome to Thoughtful Thursday. I'm life coach JJ Joshua at jj4insight.com. Today I wanna to talk about the seven second attitude adjuster. Yep, in seven seconds or less, we can adjust our attitude just using two focuses, and that is appreciation and celebration. Now, the reason why this is timely and important today is we're just a week away from the election, and I'm hearing with my clients and on social media that people are generally getting uh, a little depressed and worried and maybe frightful, frightful, fearful about the coming winter, about how to do winter in COVID. We can't do all the gatherings and things we used to do to help us move through winter, and people starting to get a little nervous and and anxious about that. So I wanted to offer a, an actual tool that is so simple to do, all we have to do is remember it. So this is using appreciation of something that's working for you right in that moment, anything that is helping you in that moment, and celebration. So an example in my personal life is I have recently, in the last three months, started to heal my relationship to technology. Yes, so this was a big job, <laughs> one step at a time. And doing things I'd never done before, taking more responsibility and, and leaning into technology as my friend. And so every time I get a click right, or I remember something, I, I am getting some help, I'm getting some coaching, but every time I do something right, I'm like, yes, yes, I did that, I did it, I remembered that click. <laughs> one of my coaches says, Life today is essentially about knowing what buttons to push. <laughs> so every time I get the button right, I'm celebrating both with a physical action and an emotional action. So if we want true transformation in any part of our life, we need to activate the four areas, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. So physical, yes, yes, do a happy dance. Put your hands on your cheek. Anything physical that's a little out of the ordinary so your nervous system gets the point. Emotional is just the act of appreciating and celebrating activates both the emotional and the mental levels. And then the spiritual connection is really joy. Anytime we are in a joyous moment, I believe we are building a bridge to our higher, more exalted self. So this simple practice of anything that comes your way to appreciate it, and celebrate it both with your emotional, mental focus and something physical. So thumbs up, pat on the back, anything that works for you. I'm gonna tell you another story about kind of training ourselves and how that can help with the attitude. This was an experience I had years ago. I went to a big, huge bar mitzvah in a beautiful home in the foothills of Boulder, Colorado, many years ago. And the food, oh my gosh, the food was everywhere and beautiful. Well, the man that owned the home was also one of those people that um, fosters puppies that are being prepared to enter into the helping dog world. And so their first two months living away from their puppy mom and living with their humans is very important. So we're, I didn't know that at the time, but we're standing around this big, beautiful, coffee table full of meats and other delectables. And along comes the puppy. <laughs> and it was, you know, perfect puppy nose height. And he started chowing down. And we were looking at each other like, what do we do? But the gentleman was right there. And he took the dog's muzzle and gently moved it away from the food. No, no, no rattling, nothing except gentle movement and took him outside to play Frisbee with him. So, and then he asked one of us to take that plate back to the kitchen, but I was fascinated. So I went out and said, what happened just then? He said, well, I'm raising helping dogs. And the way you raise a helping dog is by never scolding them. You train them with diversion and praise and a few treats. Diversion and praise. So we all have an inner puppy. Yes, <laughs> we do. We all have a part of us that needs a gold star every day. We all have a part of us that just wants somebody to pat us on the back and scratch our neck and go, you're doing good. And so we must do that for ourselves now, especially if you live alone in the COVID world. So it's so simple. Seven seconds or less, look for things in your life that you can appreciate and celebrate. 
For example, we all know that drinking water, hydrating ourselves well every day is an important part of well-being. In the wintertime, I always have trouble getting my water down. And we're supposed to have eight glasses of water a day, but that's only if you don't drink caffeine and you're not exercising. If you drink caffeine and you exercise, you need more than that. So now, to get myself back in the groove of drinking more water in the cooler season, every time I get one down, I go, yes, one down, nine to go. And every time you do that, you will start to get this feeling inside, which I've noticed with my computer experience of, wow, I, I can't wait for the next moment of praise. Now, this is my favorite, is the victory stance. But whatever works for you, and it can be subtle, and if you know, you're in a public situation where you can't be that you know, verbose with your actions, just in your mind, do a happy dance, say yay, and appreciating others. So another fun story <laughs> is, just a few weeks ago, I was at Trader Joe's shopping, and the glass, the whole window, is floor to ceiling in the front of the store. And I was checking out, and this woman was walking down the sidewalk. And she was holding her hand up, and she was basically giving everybody in Trader Joe's the bird. <laughs> she was flipping us all fur. And the, the cashier looks, and his mouth drops open, and we're like, what? And then he turns to me and goes, well that lady must be having a very bad day. <laughs> we both just howled. It was such a funny moment. Like, what a bizarre thing to have happen. But what I did in that moment is I just got his eyes and got made sure that we had eye contact. I said, thank you for giving me the best laugh I've had since COVID. And so that was praise. That was appreciation. So I invite you to get that seven-second attitude adjuster of praising uh, appreciating and celebrating in your day all day long. You're going to feel better at the end of the day. And a reminder from um, our dear friend, Dr. Wayne Dyer, is to that attitude is everything. Everything. So pick a good one. I thank you for clicking in today. Be kind to your mind and everyone else's. Ta ta for now.